Hey guys, today we're going to be doing even more Bloxburg build hacks. And I've done two of these videos in the past, and y'all really seem to love them. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first hack is this custom iPad stand speed build. So first she just starts with a basic shape, and she takes... I think this basic shape and she sizes it down all the way I think like that and then she takes a frame and sort of just places it on the basic shape and y'all don't forget to resize the basic shape like even more so it actually looks like a stand and not like it's just sitting on some random block and she also moves it down a bit so i'm just gonna put it here because it's gonna be like you know just watching your ipad while you're eating because i've been doing that all the time okay then obviously we have to switch the code of the painting and the code is linked in the tiktok and i'm gonna link all the tiktoks down in the description below as well okay there we go and then I'm just gonna color pink because the background is pink as well. So obviously we have to make it match with her stand. <gasps> and oh my gosh, that actually looks so cute. Okay, that looks so pretty. I'm gonna change this whole entire kitchen as well. So it just matches the iPad. Okay, there we go. Not me changing the whole theme of the kitchen so it can match the iPad, but it looks so cute. And I'm definitely gonna be using this hack in my build. Okay, the next hack is this custom dresser speed build and I'm gonna add it in this room because it's kind of giving plain right now and it could really use something to spice it up. So first he takes a basic shape and now all of these hacks, well most of them anyways use basic shapes so guys we can never escape these basic shapes, they're everywhere. So I guess we're just gonna have to use them but they just make everything so much better even though sometimes it's just so annoying to use them. And I think I'm gonna make the dresser that big. Okay and then he just makes like a little square kind of so i'm just gonna resize this just place another one of those and make it like that big i guess and you also need some for the side so i'm just gonna take the bottom again and i'll just resize it so it can fit like the sides oh never mind <laughs> never mind okay we're just gonna take another one put one right there and try to kind of just resize that there that fits a little bit better but we need to just transform it in a little bit because you know i just want everything to be perfect there we go and then we're just gonna do copy paste that on the other side as well okay we got the first part of it done Whew. okay let's take a deep breath and let's move on to the next part okay then he takes a transparent cube and he puts like a bunch of decals on it so he covers half of it in this so I'm just gonna try to make it halfway. Okay, that looks about half of it. I guess we're just gonna go off my guesses and hopefully my guesses are right. And then we're gonna take a decal. I think he's using the transparent one. So I'm just gonna take this one, put it down there, resize it to the smallest I can and put in the decal. Okay, and I just realized how dark this room is. I need to put some more lights in here. Anyway, the decal is also linked in the TikTok. Uh, what is this? I did not put this down. Okay, just turns out it's the wrong one and it should start with 143 instead of 142. I was like, why was the decal whole ogre? Oh my god. That just scared me. Okay, let's just go ahead and put that down now. And he just put it like this like three times but i think i need to make my dresser a little bit bigger so let's just make it slightly bigger okay there we go and i'm just gonna copy that over to the other side i think and you might just have to make some adjustments because you know this is like a really like it's just an adjustment kind of hack so i'm just making those adjustments right now okay and then you're just gonna try and resize those into there like use the transform tool to just like shove the back part of the thing into the dress guys i'm so bad at explaining stuff but you know just trust the process here just trust the process okay then he makes like little boxes with the basic shapes as well and that's like sort of like the drawers of the thing so we're just gonna make a box and we're just gonna copy paste the same box over and over again so let's just try and make this one as accurate as we can and my other mouse literally died so this is so much harder to do with my apple mouse because my apple mouse only has one button and you can't click two buttons at the same time so i'm like dying trying to do this hack right now but let's hope it turns out good because i really need this to turn out good i need a cute dresser in this room honestly blocks are should just already add stuff like this in the game like it looks so pretty why, why don't they not just add this in the game okay now let's test it out 
and see what it looks like and let's see if we need to make any adjustments um okay yeah it does look like we need a couple adjustments so i just need to make it a little bit taller like maybe that tall also guys if you remember from my last hacks video the uggs were so popular everybody loved that ugg hack and thank you to the person who made it and also i said that i was gonna buy those uggs and turns out i actually did end up buying them so guys you guys influenced me to get them because everyone in the comments was like oh my god i have them and they're so cute they're so cute and i just had to go and just close my eyes and spend that money on them but they're so worth it and i think they're so cute and i love them so much i'm gonna be wearing them all winter and hope the snow does not get stuck in them because they are like slippers but oh well Okay, now I feel like I made it too tall. See, this is the problem with this hack. You need a lot of adjustments and a lot of patience for it. So if you don't have that, guys, don't try this hack because I'm like dying right now. Okay, hopefully I wish that's good enough. Please, please work out. Okay, I think that side is good enough. Let's do the next side now. Whew, at least it's only copy and pasting, guys. This side, at least it is only copy and pasting. Okay. Ooh, finally finished let's move on to the next part okay then he uses makes handles so we're just making this from scratch we're just making the whole entire thing from scratch with basic shapes so then he adds thin square beam okay let's see thin square beam okay and he's gonna use that for the handles so let's go ahead let's make the handles okay it's starting to come together Okay, then you just go ahead and color the whole entire thing. So I'm just going to use, what color did I use? I use this custom color and you all can pause to copy it. It's just number F, 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 F. And you're just going to color it that. I'm not sure what color he used, but I'm just going to use this color. And then he also just covers up these little holes that are in there. So I'm going to do that as well. But before we do that, we're just going to make this stand. Because obviously it just can't be flush on the ground. So I'm just going to take the vertical cylinder, resize that a bit. Color it the same as the cabinet. And then just put four of them and you can just resize them down. And then just resize them all the way down. And just don't forget to fill in those gaps. <gasps> okay and there we go it looks so pretty and just enhances the whole entire room so so much more Ugh, i love that so much it's really time consuming but so worth it if you have the patience for it the second one is super super easy and super simple and you can do this like really really fast so so he just grabs a one of those bins i guess so let's go and i'm gonna put these in the kitchen because they're gonna look super cute sitting in the kitchen actually i think they're in storage okay it's one of the storage containers okay it's called a plastic storage tote and you're just gonna put it down here and it looks super super big so all we're gonna do for this hack is just resize it down and i'm just gonna resize it all the way down because a lunchbox is pretty small and these are like this cute like tupperware lunch containers i'm gonna color them i'm gonna color them blue so they look i don't know they look super cute blue so i'm gonna color them blue and we're gonna put them right here and there we go it's just some super cute little lunch boxes and the hack was so easy and you can literally add that to all your builds and make a storage container look like a lunchbox. And I'm pretty sure that looks pretty accurate. So super cute and super easy. Okay, guys, this next hack is super cool and actually got real famous on TikTok. So this one is a secret underground garage and it uses a stage lift, which is new in Bloxburg. And I'm going to make myself a secret garage as well. So let's try out this hack and see if it's really worth the hype. So first you take a basement. So we have to build a basement and you do have to have the basements pass for this one. And you have to make it as big as the stage lift. So I'm just gonna make it... Let me just get the stage lift first. Have no idea what that would be under. So... And why is it 26,000? Anyways let's just take a large stage lift it's giving real expensive and we're just gonna make a basement as big as that let's hope i don't go broke after this hack because that's not gonna be cute there we go and i'm just gonna make a little bit of a basement like extended as well over there and then we're gonna place that in the basement so we want to place a stage lift in the basement and then cover this with i guess right now i'll just cover it with some there we go it's all covered up 
I'm also going to cover up this with some of the grass texture. So, you know, we just want it to look blended in because this is supposed to be a secret. Like, it's supposed to be like a little secret underground garage thingy. And then I'm also going to put my get a car for my plot. So, I'm pretty sure I should have a car in here somewhere. There we go. Let's put down my car and let's see if this actually is going to work. Okay, as y'all can see, you could literally not even tell that it even exists. Maybe if you look super closely, you can. But let's drive our car on top of it and test to see if this secret underground garage lift hack works. I don't even know what to call it. You can literally make like a secret underground layer and bring your car down there too. Okay, let's put our car on top. Let's toggle the lift. Oh, 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 oh my god, my car is stuck. Oh my god. Okay, but look, we made it underground and we can literally make like a whole like other basement area down there. That's so cool. I never even used this like little stage lift before. Anyways, let's lift it back up and say bye bye to our car because it's stuck down there forever now. Okay, so now for the next hack is this realistic plant decoration. And as y'all can see, I love doing realistic plants. I usually do the decal ones or I just use the in-game ones, but I think we could spice it up a little bit more. So I'm going to take away this plant. I'm going to move her over there because, you know, she's just a little bit basic. We don't want it to be super, super basic in here. So then he just grabs a pot from the garden tab there. I'm going to color it white so it matches my house theme. And then you grab this short piece of grass and the big piece of grass and y'all may not ever use these in your build but they actually have lots of things you could do with them and one of these things is you can make a custom like little super easy plant hack and that's what we're gonna be doing today so you color them to whatever plantish color you like i'm gonna color them the sand green and then i'm gonna put that one down there um, you just shove two into each and then you put the big one on top as well Which I don't even know how he fit that in there. There we go And then he just puts like a bunch of those as well and y'all that actually looks so cute Wait, that looks like a super like realistic plant without using a decal Personally, I think that even looks sort of better than a decal plant okay i'm definitely gonna be saving that for my future builds and using that in there as well okay guys also since it's almost close to halloween this next hack is gonna be a candy jar hack now this hack is from the same girl who made the ipad hack and she also made the bubble candle hack from the last video so this girl is really making like some of the cutest and best hacks out here so the first thing we do is she grabs a transparent vertical cylinder and i think i'm just gonna put this one over here because i want my candy jar to be in the kitchen then she just resizes it down you know just to the size of a jar i guess there we go i think that's good enough and then she grabs the spheres and she just resizes them down like all the way because we don't want them to be that big we just resize them all the way and then i'm gonna place a couple of them because we want it to look like a bunch of round little candies and this is reminding me of halloween so i might just have to go to the store and just buy myself a big box of candy because i'm craving some candy now this ha these hacks be making me hungry guys in the last one the cookies made me hungry and this one this candy is making me hungry so <laughs> Every time I do these videos, I spend so much money because I always go out and get the stuff that I'm really craving afterwards. So after I'm done making this video, I will definitely go and buy myself some candy because you know what? I deserve it at the end of the day. And I'm just going to color the candy all like super cute and pink. Just usually what candy is colors. So it's cute colors, I guess. Let's also color some of them green. Okay, then you just transform them all the way down. So, you know, let's just make it look like a messy, like, little candy jar. And you just have to keep doing that until I guess you kind of fill it up to the point you want it to be filled up to. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. There we go. And let's just resize all those down again. I'm trying to make it look kind of even as well because I don't want it to look like all of them are on one side. And then, of course, we also need a lid for the jar so let's go ahead and grab the vertical cylinder but this time we don't want it to be transparent grab that and then resize it so it's the same almost the same as the container resize it all the way down
down then also grab another sphere um we have like a million spheres in this thing and then you color that again and there we go we have our little cute candy jar oh my god that looks so cute just imagine just watching on your ipad eating some candy and relaxing in your cute little kitchen there we go the way i switched this whole theme of the kitchen just for the ipad from autumn to like pink is kind of crazy but you know it's still cute it still looks really cute okay guys this next hack is also by the same girl and she is so good at all her hacks so this hack is a custom thermostat and i don't know where to put it i feel like it's gonna look super cute and really make this house look a lot more realistic but hmm, where should we put it should we put it in the hallway should we put it here in the kitchen i think i'm just gonna put it here in the laundry room so it's gonna look super cute here as well let me just move over all this stuff so we have some space and this one is also a super simple easy build hack so you're just gonna grab a basic shape grab the horizontal cylinder and i'm loving all these super realistic hacks that are just gonna make your build look so so much better guys so really recommend adding all these in and i actually have this same thermostat in real life so why not put it in my Bloxburg house as well and then you're just gonna shove it onto the wall you can transform it up or you can also if you don't have transform use a basic shape and a carpet to move it up but i'm gonna be using transform because you know y'all i have it and might as well then you're gonna grab a picture and you're gonna grab the small round painting and you're gonna just resize it all the way down to the smallest possible size you can and you might just have to readjust this little circle part a little bit so i'm just gonna make mine a little bit bigger like so there we go now it fits perfectly in there and then the code is linked in the tiktok but we just have to change that and we're finished with this hack and boom that's such a cute hack let me just fix the little picture because it looks a little bit too small and there we go it looks so pretty and so realistic and just makes your house pop so so much more like just look at how much better that just made the laundry room look it made it look so much more realistic i love it okay guys so we had our custom ipad stand with our ipad and then after that we made our custom where is it our custom dresser which looks so 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 pretty and realistic and really just enhances the whole entire room then after our custom dresser we did our little stage lifting car thing i guess you can make like a secret underground dungeon with this stage lift you could do so much stuff with that one so that's a really good hack that y'all can use in your builds we also did this custom plant hack our custom thermostat which looks so 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 cute and let's not forget about our custom little super easy lunch boxes that you could just place in your kitchen and that was all the hacks for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video even though i look super crazy right now and for a moment there i was shaking the whole entire floor anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this hacks video you guys have been loving these kinds of videos so let me know if y'all would like more of them and maybe just a little hint of what might be coming during Christmas. Maybe I could do a little Christmas hacks video. That would be so fun. But anyways, guys, let me know any other kinds of videos you guys want me to do. And I had so much fun testing out all these hacks for you. All these hacks receive a A++ rating from me. And you all should try all these hacks in your builds. And let me know how it goes in the comments down below. Anyways, y'all, see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.